Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Leanna and today I have a what sold video for you. I've taken a few items from Posh Canada and Posh US that have sold for me lately and I'm going to break it down and end up with a gross profit number. I'm saying gross profit because I haven't done the calculations to t sort of take my time and anything I use, supplies I use to clean it or shipping supplies or even shipping fees because when I sell things on Posh US because I'm in Canada, I do have to pay the cross-border shipper a fee to get it across the border. So I didn't take any of that into consideration. So it's going to be gross profit only. So keep that in mind. Now, I also picked a whole range of items. I, I go from kids wear to home goods to men's wear to women's wear to just give you a better general idea of what is selling right now. And if you want to sort of branch out into a new sort of niche, why not? It just gives you a good idea. And I like to sort of go a couple of the higher sales and even some of my lower ones because I think they're kind of cool. All right, we're going to get started. We're going to start with Poshmark Canada. The first one I'm going to show you are these Ariat boot, boot cut, I almost said bootleg, boot cut jeans. These were sitting in my death pile. So if you've been around, you know that I had a death pile, a few totes. It's way down, kind of. I'll explain that at the end. I'm not sure what the cost of goods are were on these. They sold for $42. I'm going to estimate my cost of goods at about $8 because I know what normally we pay for things. So this one's a little eh. Um, after fees, that left me with $33.60. And after my cost of goods, it left me with a gross profit of $25.60. That's estimated. But that's not bad. I mean, I think I'm, I'm really happy with that sale. I was glad I got them listed and they sold pretty quickly. The next item is a home good item. It is this KitchenAid pan, believe it or not. I picked this up at my local Goodwill for $4. It sold for $40. That left me after fees, $32. And then after my cost of goods, it left me with $28 in gross profit. I like that. I, I go searching at pans now. I just love them for some reason. The next one is this Joseph Ribkoff dress. Joseph Ribkoff really does sell well, especially the larger sizes. I do have a couple that are smaller that are just kind of sitting, but they will sell eventually. I picked this up for $6 at my local Mission Thrift Store. It sold for $42 left me with $33.60, which means I had a gross profit of $27.60. That's after my cost of goods. That's, again, I am really happy with that. Um, the last single sale on Posh Canada that I'm going to talk about are these Everlane jeans. They were white. I found them at the bins. White is still selling, even though it's almost winter. Um, my cost for that bins trip for, per item was $2.06. These sold for $40, which left me with 32 after fees. And that would give me a gross profit of $29.94. Really happy with that. I love the bins. Keeping the cost of goods down low is can really, really, really pay off. The last sale I wanna talk about, I honestly, I didn't price this out because I just forgot to, and I'm gonna do the math really quickly on the fees, so that minus that. Okay, so I sold a 13 piece bundle. I know, I have never sold a bundle that big. I'm really glad it was on Canada because I did need a heavier weight label. Um, so it didn't cost me that much. I think it was an eight pound label, which I think cost me $3.50, I want to say, so it didn't cost me very much at all. 13-piece 13, 13 bundle, $2, $240 is what the uh, buyer paid, which left me with $192 after fees, 13 items. There was a mishmash of older listings and bins pickups and things like that, so I don't know what my gross profit altogether was but I've never done a bundle that big, so I was really, really happy with it. And it was weird because I was like, oh God, it got delivered and I had to wait the three full days, which really bugged me, but <laughs> that's okay. Um, I was excited about that. All right, moving on to Posh US. Okay, so when I did the math for Posh US, I took my cost of goods, which was in Canadian dollars, 
and I put it into a calculator that gave me, uh, um, what's the word? I don't think of the word. Uh, what it would be in American money as of today. So, I mean, the cost of goods is sort of fluctuating because the return, not the return rate. What is the rate I'm looking for? Oh, my goodness gracious. The exchange rate. It varies. So, I sort of went what it was today. Okay, all that. The first one I'm going to show you are these Cole Haan pumps. They were beautiful. They were suede. They sold for $40 US. My cost of goods was a bins pickup. Um, with the exchange rate was $1.83 is what I figured it out to be. And that means that I was left with $30.17 as my gross profit, which is fantastic for a bins pickup. Um, moving down to this Hello Kitty wallet. If you've been around the channel, you saw that I picked this up at the bins just recently. My bins cost $1.15 US. It sold for $18 US, which left me with $14.40 after fees, which means that I had, that's not the right math, $14.40 minus $1.15, that's right, $13.25, thought I did math wrong. So it was $13.25 US gross profit. All these numbers are in US money, so like as a Canadian, it's going to be even more for me, but anyway. Uh, the next one are these Spanx jeans. Again, they were in a bins haul. The cost of goods was about $1.67. They sold for $48 because they still had that little bit of a stain, so I couldn't get top dollar for them. They sold for $48, which left me with $38.40, with after cost of goods leaves me with $36.73. Fantastic. I like those numbers. The higher the better. The higher the better. Uh, the next one I want to show you is that cute, cute little kid's coat. I did pick it up at the bins just because it was just adorable. Uh, bins pickup price was $1.67. It sold for $18, which I knew it wasn't going to sell for a lot, um, which left me with $14.40 after fees and after cost of goods with $12.73, which is my lowest uh, gross profit on the whole thing. The next one I want to talk about is this Cutco knife block. Cutco. Always look for Cutco. It sells so amazing. I picked this up here at my local Goodwill um, with the exchange was $2.55, which is phenomenal. And it sold for $45, which after fees was $36. And after my cost of goods left me with $33.45. Fantastic. This one was heavy. I did have to pur purchase a heavier weight label, but but I had credit on the United States because somebody had signed up using my code and they actually bought something. So I did have a $10 credit. They took the heavier weight label out of my credit. So basically it was free. So I was really, really happy about that. And that is something to keep in mind. If you have some credit, maybe leave a little bit in there because they will take your have your weight labels out of that, especially if you redeem, if you have nothing redeemable, because I clear out my redeemable all the time. So remember that. So that's really, really cool. The last two items I want to talk about are, this one is a Johnny Was red, beautiful, gorgeous, freaking gorgeous top. It didn't fit me. It was too large. I was, I was this close to keeping it. And the next one is another Johnny Was. It was purple. It was beautiful. Again, not quite my style. I almost kept that one as well. So the red one sold for $60 US and the purple one sold for $55. These were pure profit. How were they profit? Because I purchased these off of Poshmark Canada with credit. I had credit. For some reason, something went crazy in the algorithm and I won like two or three contests. I don't even know how I did it, but I did. So I had credit and I've been buying things like, I wanted to buy something that I knew would sell for at least what I paid for it in a sense. And I knew that these would sell, especially on .com as opposed to .ca. So I purchased these from the same seller on Posh Canada and I used credit. So I had no cost of goods. 
except for the fact that I had to package it and send it across the border. Very, very little. So my profit, gross profit was $48 for the red one and $44 for the purple one. Amazing. And they sold really, really fast. So for me, using credit to actually turn it back into cash is the right way to, to do it. I mean, I don't shop a lot on Poshmark for myself because honestly, I thrift. And thrifting for me, if I look at something on Poshmark and think, oh, you know, they want $20 for that. That's not bad. That's a good price. But then you add in the taxes and you add in, you know, your, your, your shipping, you're looking at close to $50. You know, like it's, it's, it's a lot more. And I think to myself, I could probably thrift that or I could thrift something very similar. So I don't buy a lot on Poshmark. <clears throat> now, when I have credit, I can buy myself something. And I did. I had credit. I bought myself something. But I always look to something else that I can sell to make some cash back. Because, you know, credit is fantastic and wonderful. But give me the cash instead. I'm much more motivated by that than the credit. But anyway, that's the kind of things that are selling for me right now. Um, the Johnny was sold really, really fast on the States, on Poshmark US. So I was happy with that. What else did I want to talk about? List your death pile because there's money sitting there. <laughs> I'm so glad that I've got mine down. And I mean, it's like really, really small kind of right now. I'm going to talk about that. Um, branch out into home goods. They're Pots are easy to, to ship because they're not really breakable. I still put everything in a box, but they're not really breakable. So they're a different way to actually sell or make money because if you want to branch out into home goods, going to something that won't break is maybe a good way to start. And they don't price a lot of this stuff up depending on the brand. Some of the brands, yes, they do. Some, not so much. Um, yeah, try to keep your cost of goods low. I mean, I figured out with my lowest gross profit, which was twelve seventy three, on that little Mac Studio uh, coat for the kids. If I just sold a hundred of those, I'd be like twelve hundred dollars in profit. <laughs> just a hundred. That's all I need to do. And it's kind of revolutionary. It's in my brain. It's like, okay, I know this. That's really cool. So we're gonna talk about a little bit about my death pile. Um, I did. I got it all down. Everything was listed. I was in, in a great, you know, buying things, listing them. I was getting really good. I feel good about it. An online auction, estate auction happened, and I did buy a closet full of clothing. Yeah, so right now, my downstairs dining room, living room is, it's got four totes. <laughs> four totes. Four totes of clothing, and you know what? They're all granny core. There's some really cool vintage in there. Um, I'm not necessarily going to do a haul video. I will show you some of them at a, at a later date once I sort of organize it all. Um, it only cost me $25.99, so it was very exciting, and I had a lot of fun going through it. Um, I'm going to go through it again today and organize it better because yesterday was just get it in the house, get it sort of organized a bit, see what I have, see if there's really anything there worth it. And I did find some really cool things, but a lot of it, you know, we'll see. So anyway, I'm going to show you that next week and that's it. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. It's going to be a nice quiet one for us here. Yeah, apparently it's supposed to snow. I don't know. I don't see it happening outside, which is okay, but we'll see. Anyway, everyone have, everyone have a great weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye.